All right, today I'm going to show you how to replace the drum in a Toshiba 3505. That's the most common model, I believe, out there with uh, the series. Um, this will be for uh, 2505, 3,505, 3,505, 4,505, and 5,005. And you could even uh, do this with the new series, which would be the 1,5 series. So like a 3,515. Um, it will apply to those machines as well because they're pretty much the same machine, just updated versions uh, of what, we're, what we have here. So we'll open up the door. And we're going to get the waste toner bottle out of there. And we'll set that aside. And then we're going to be doing the black drum unit. But this will apply when we're replacing the drum. Um, it's going to, the same procedural can be used for all four of these. Uh, to get the drum out, we're going to release the transfer belt. Press on this. And then this whole unit will come out. And then we'll set it up here. And I'm going to get all set up and we'll get this pulled apart. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull off this cap on the side. And it's going to have two clips up here. It's going to have a little clip down here. And it's going to have another one over here on this side. So we will just press on those clips. Right there and it's harder to see on this black one because everything is black but I'll show you the clips after I get it out so it's out and then there's your clips right there there and there and they just go right there and there and right there okay now once we got this apart what we're going to do is we're going to grab on both sides and we're just going to pry it apart like that. Okay. So you can see. All right. And then it's just going to come loose like that. And now we've got our drum unit that we're going to start taking apart. Uh, I'm going to pause and I'm going to give us a little bit more room here. All right, that's better. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be replacing this and then we're gonna be replacing all the stuff in this unit right here. Uh, and by the way, that just comes out by just taking your hand and prying it right up. And then it will hinge out that way. Okay. This is what they call the charge corona. And if you'll look, you'll see this grid wire is just green. And that is not good. It doesn't put a good charge on the drum and creates poor copy quality. Uh, it can deplete your developer. Uh, suck the developer right out. That's this powder right here. Right out of your developer unit. And in the black unit, it's not too bad. But when this happens to the color units, you're talking big bucks. Uh, color developer is awfully expensive. Um, so now we've got that corona. We'll get back to that in a minute. We're going to pull this drum out. So we'll come over here to the end and there's two screws, one there and one there. One there and there. And then this is gonna just slide right on out. And you'll see that there's a notch right there. And this thing will have grease all over the end of it. So you might want to keep your hands off of it, I guess. And then this drum 
will pop right out and it will come with this little bushing right here. We're going to replace this bushing also. So we're going to replace this cylinder and that bushing. But before we do that, we're going to replace what cleans it. This is the drum cleaning blade, this thing right here. Now you don't want to do this to the new one. I'm just showing you so that you can see what's going on. It's just like a windshield wiper in your car. So we're going to pull that out with the two screws on the end. And this thing has little notches. You got two holes on each end and then there's going to be uh, a little notch right there that it will set into. Okay. And that way you can only put this thing in, in one direction. Um, to, so that you know, this has got a little mylar. Let's see. What's the best way? There you go. A little mylar and then that will go down towards the recycling waste toner coil okay now you can just take this over to a trash can and kind of dump it all out i'm going to take a vacuum cleaner um, and suck this out i don't recommend you use your vacuum cleaner because the vacuum cleaner i have has a special filter that is made especially for vacuuming up toner. Um, so I suggest you just dump this out, maybe take an air compressor lightly to it. Um, but if you do take an air compressor to it, remember this stuff will blow out as a fine powder. All right, I'm gonna vacuum this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got it all nice and cleaned out. Now we're gonna take our new cleaner blade and we're going to pop it down in there just like that okay then we'll put our screw in Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our new drum and, and sleeve in, but uh, we'll have to pause and get one. Okay, we got a drum here. So when you pull these drums out, you saw me kind of manhandle this one. That's because we're getting rid of it. But you don't want to touch the surface of this drum. Okay, so when you pull this off, do your best not to touch the green surface all right and then you'll put this bushing on and it'll go on just like this okay this little notch that's sticking up right here that'll go down into a notch right there in the frame and then you'll just set it down right there like that. And then we'll take our, sorry about that, I hit the frame there. And then we'll just take our frame and slide it in. Just like that. And then we'll put our two screws back in. Remember where they go. Now, while we're waiting, I'm going to cover this up because these are light sensitive units while we're doing this right here. All right. This right here is spring loaded. 
Okay, so we will tilt that back and then this will come right off. And then the other end is going to be held on by some hooks. And we'll just get those unhooked like that. And you can see the hooks right there. My camera will focus. There it goes. Right there. Okay, and those what those two things go in there like that. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out the cleaning mechanism that cleans this little wire uh, underneath here. And so this just pops straight out. It's got a little clip and it goes right down into that green holder right there. Okay. We'll get back to that in a second. Now we're going to get the charge electrode is what they call it. And it's down in there, believe me. And it is very sharp. So it has these tiny little points on it. Come on, camera focus. There you go. See them? They will draw blood. I promise you. <laughs> um, so then you'll just undo the spring on this end be careful not to lose it and then there you go there's your electrode that we're going to replace along with our grid wire all right now before i go putting all this in i'm going to go back to the back and i'm going to take an air compressor and i'm going to get all this toner out and get it as clean as i can okay so i'm going to pause for a second all right, so we got her all nice and clean. Now I wanted to point something out. This is something that uh, I pointed out in another video. When you get light streaks, what happens is, is this little mylar right here gets brittle with age. And you can see that, see how nice and white it is over here and how it's getting a little yellow over here. Um, this I would replace and that's because it gets brittle and then it breaks off and then it gets into your developer and then you get void areas like that and then those void areas show up on your print all because of this mylar falling apart. Um, this is one of the things that is on my check sheet to replace when we totally rebuild a copy machine. Uh, so if you've got one that's missing a few pieces, go ahead and just take it on off. Just get rid of it because it's going to cost you more in the long run if you don't. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, electrode back in there. And so we will take... It's got two sides to it. This side is going to use a spring. And you can see the little small hole. Okay. And then this other side is going to, we're going to hook in first. And it's going to hook in to a little steel hook right there. Let me angle this just right, right there. And you can just barely see it. It's just a little clip right there. So we will take and we put to put the pointed side up that draws blood. And we will take the last open end there and hook it on that hook. So... I will say that it's easier when you grab it back a little way so that you can get it down, down in there like that. So you just get it on there. Like 
There we go. Then you'll come all the way down here. And we will attach our spring. Now, I can honestly say that I normally, I'm gonna set this aside and hopefully it'll stay on. Probably not. But I normally like to put this spring on this little hook right here. Come on, focus. Right there like that. There we go. Okay. Um, this section right here is the part that that gr uh, grid plate is going to connect to. So that has to be up. So we'll take the spring and we'll see if it held on and it did not. That's okay. We'll just put her back in there. Okay. You can see this can be very tedious. Then we'll get it hooked up there like that. There we go. All right, so we're gonna take it and we're going to see that little, that little notch right there on the side. That's gotta go into some grooves. So we're going to pull it back and get it into those grooves, just like that, okay? Now, before we go to put on our grid plate on this, we need to get our cleaner, and it's just a little thing like this, and it's got these little paper plastic things that slide across and clean that electrode. And you just take these and you just rip them off. All right. Because we're going to be putting new ones on there. All right. And they will come like this. And one side will just pop right up. That's the side that you want to touch because the other side is going to have the sticky stuff on it. Okay. And then you'll just put it right here on the down side, just like that. Just like that, okay? And then you'll do the other side. Okay, and you'll see it's got some sticky stuff on it. Let's see if I can get it to focus, there we go. See, it's got some sticky stuff. And then you'll stick that on the other side. And you'll want to get them to where they're lined up on the top. And not over. And then I like to Take a pair of pliers and just kind of press them in there real good. Okay. Now we can take this little booger right here and just press it right down 
on there like that. And you can hear it cleaning our electrode. Now, we take our grid wire and some people do it the other way. I like doing it this way. You put that side down first because it's got that post right there that likes to get in the way and you have to angle it. So I like to get that side in first. All right, so that's what she looks like. Then we'll come all the way over here and we will Kind of hard to do this up in the air. I normally have it sitting down. Okay. But now it's up underneath that little clip right there. Okay. And just make sure that everything is nice and flat. It should be setting right flat on those posts right there on both sides and both ends okay once you got that in there we can go back to our drum unit and we'll just flip it over and then we will take this side and we will take this right here and we're going to slide it in just like that okay and then we to bring it down here and then we just press right there and pop it in okay and there is a rebuilt drum unit now, I have, this is the drum unit. This is your developer unit. This little notch right here will go right there in that little slot. So when you go to put it back together, it'll go just like this. Put that in there. And then there's a notch on the other side. And you'll see it it's hard for me to do this with a camera and then then it'll sit here and hinge back and forth while you're holding it and then you just squeeze them together okay then you'll take your cover and it's got the way I always do it is it's got this long thing sticking out right here that goes over top of that long thing right there so that helps you line it up and then you just give it a good push back in. And now you've got a rebuilt drum unit minus the developer. The developer will come in a PM kit and the developer will be in a bag down here. I did not replace that or show you how to replace that is because in the one of the previous videos, I believe it was for light streaks. I'm showing you how to dump that developer out and strain it for when that mylar that I showed you gets corroded and gets in the developer. Well, you'll do exactly the same thing, um, except when you dump that old developer out, you'll put the new developer in. And so you'll just, you can just look at that video for the same procedure. And uh, that way you know how to do everything. So <clears throat> that will take care of all four units um, hopefully you will never have to replace the color developer because like I say big bucks but uh, once again I want to tell you about this screwdriver this is what I use uh, I've been working on copiers for 40 years I've tried everything uh, I started out using a snap-on but I have found that this is by far the best P 
piece of equipment that I own when it comes to working on copy machines. Um, it's got a light, it's got two speeds, it's got a torque limiter, it's got plenty of speed so that I'm not sitting there going in slow motion like this waiting for a screw to come undone. It's got a fast speed. These things hold up well. Uh, you can get extra batteries for them. And I cannot tell you, I would not be telling you about this screwdriver if I didn't use it myself. Uh, if you're looking for a great screwdriver, I'm thinking these things are going for like 80 bucks now. I remember when I used to pay like 125. Um, but I will leave a link for this screwdriver and for a bit that's like this long that uh, makes this a fantastic screwdriver. I'll leave a link for both of those. If you like my videos and uh, would like to see more, please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I welcome all comments and I will reply to everybody that uh, asks a question. Thank you so much.